37 a.m. A little bit of a later wake up time today, um, but it's all good. Yesterday was a super productive day. We got a morning workout in with my boy Drew at like six in the morning. Um, and then we had a bunch of housekeeping stuff and then met up with my boy Rainer out here in San Diego who brought me out to Flame Broiler where we caught up, got a bunch of protein and even got some, some Froyo afterwards. But Starting the day off with two bagels here, got myself a cup of coffee. Today is also gonna be a pretty productive day. What I have on my schedule. Today is Wednesday, which is usually like a project day for me. Um, so my main objectives for today is getting a nasty pull workout in. Um, with my projects, I need to set some goals for 2024 which i definitely want to share some with y'all and my last objective for today is my live that i'm doing inside of my health is well free facebook community so we're gonna chow this down we're gonna make today the best day of our freaking lives getting a workout in in this fucking nice ass weather setting some goals for 2024 going live giving value to my people let's get this day started let's get it Just like that, that's a wrap for today's pull workout. We absolutely freaking crushed that. But what I love about being out here is that not only am I in a tank top in December when it's like 60 degrees out here, but check this out. I'm literally a block away from the gym. And here we got the freaking beach. Check this out. What am I doing on the East Coast, y'all? Imagine having this in the winter time. Just imagine what it's like come summertime. Just got back to the Airbnb, which is literally a block away from the beach and a block away from the gym. But I just realized I'm going to I'm going to explain to y'all as I'm, I'm making some food. I got some rice here, which I'm going to throw in the microwave um, and we're, we're making some some lean ground turkey. But why am I out here in San Diego? So little story time. Exactly a year ago, December 2023, um, I had this huge vision for myself that I wanted to travel, I wanted to be able to explore and experience a lot of more new things in my life. Because I realized that like, at that time in my life, my, my life was very routine. Like, I was doing the same thing every single day, which is not a bad thing because I'm someone who thrives off routine. But I realized that like something that I've always wanted to do was to travel. I've always enjoyed going to new places, seeing new things. I always come back so much more creative after every single trip. Although I had that crazy vision and set those goals for traveling and everything, I'd always stop myself. I always, I'd always limit myself because I always told myself, oh, it's not the right time. Oh, it's not the best move financially. Yo, like I can't take time off of work. But I realized that like, yo, that was just me limiting myself from my dreams. Sure, it might not be the most responsible move. Sure, it might not be the best financial move. Sure, it might not be like the best time, but I don't know about y'all. 
But the last thing I want is to be on my deathbed and regret not doing the things that I want to do. I'm still young as shit. I'm literally, I just turned 24 and over the last year, I've really realized that like, yo, the life that you live is literally what you make of it. Like you can literally be that person who would have all the reasons why you can't do something or you can go ahead and take that leap of faith in you even when it's fucking scary, even when you don't know how it's gonna turn around. What's funny about life is it's always difficult and it's, over, it's always overwhelming at first, but things always turn out way better than expected. Things always go our way somehow. Things always come back full circle. And here we are in San Diego, literally booked at Airbnb out here for the entire week, not to do anything crazy, but to experience how life is like out here. Literally this week, I'm going to the gym, I'm cooking my meals, I'm working. I'm doing what I usually do back in New York City, but just a change of environment. Yo, like I'm literally out here in a tank top in December. <laughs> literally a block away from the beach. Fucking wild. What is life, y'all? Moral of this rant, whatever goals that you have for yourself, take that leap of faith in you. Even if, you, even if you're scared, even if you're not sure on what's gonna happen, because you're gonna look back three, six, nine, 12 months from now and you'll be shook and how far you've come and how much more to life there is when we actually go ahead and go after these goals and dreams of ours. And here we got our post-workout meal. Even though I'm on the road right now, uh, I'm still keeping my habits that I had at home, right? With bash cooking my proteins, with grocery shopping, with still hitting the gym, with working and everything. Uh, it's just a different environment. What we got here is some white rice, some lean ground beef, uh, lean ground turkey, as well as some avocado. Honestly, I genuinely enjoy eating rice, protein, and some sort of vegetable. Like, that's personally me. But we're gonna chow this down. We're going to get back to work. Uh, we got some goals to set, which I'm super excited to share with y'all. on a midday walk right now it's like 4 30 i believe let me check yeah 4 25 right now um, something i've been doing every single day ever since i've been out here in san diego is going on a midday walk and catching that sunset at 4 45 usually it sets at 4 45 but since i'm literally a block away from the beach might as well and rack some steps in um, on the boardwalk. But right now, this is the view we got. Gonna enjoy this view, do some reflecting, get some extra steps in, uh, because the goal is 10K every single day and I still got like seven to 8K left. But gonna enjoy this and we're gonna get to some goal setting later tonight. Alrighty, let's get into some goal setting for 2024 but before we get into it i'm gonna crack open this beverage that i got from the dispensary this is actually my first time trying a an infused beverage um i've smoked before i've taken edibles but i've never drank um thc in a beverage form um but let's let's give this thing a shot i'm gonna crack this thing open and let's freaking set some goals I honestly don't even know how to open this thing, um, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I just snapped that thing. I think we got it. Nice. Cheers. Oh, shoot. This is seltzer water. I'm not like the biggest fan of seltzer, but... Because it has THC, yo, I'm down to drink it. <laughs> All right, let's set some goals. I'll be honest, I've always been terrified when it comes to setting goals. I'm not, it's not that I don't like enjoy setting goals, but especially when it comes to sharing my goals and expressing my goals, I've always been terrified because it always reminds me of a past version of myself. Three to four years ago, at the time, I was at my rock bottom. 
Like, I was thousands in debt, lost my trust in my friends and family. I was like 30 pounds overweight, struggling with addiction. And at that time, I felt like I ruined my reputation. Like I would set a ton of goals. I'd have a ton of ideas. I would say all these different things that I was going to do, but I never actually followed through with it. And it hurt my confidence because it's like, I say something, but I do something different. But it's important that we set these goals because as someone who's growth oriented, as someone who loves achievements, as someone who loves doing things and going after things that I didn't know I was capable of doing, like without setting goals, without thinking a little bit further ahead, yo, like it's gonna be impossible for us to go ahead and achieve these certain achievements but going into 2024 i'm not gonna say like lower my standards or lower my expectations but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna keep the expectations away i'm gonna keep the expectations away the way i'm going into 2024 is i'm gonna set these goals right it's not like i'm gonna die if i don't achieve these goals but yo know, this is what i want to work towards um and let's aim for the moon if i achieve it amazing if not Hey, we'll reflect, we'll go back, we'll learn, we'll see what we can do a little bit different, um, and we'll, we'll move on, because it's, it's really not that fucking serious. <laughs> we're, we're our own worst critics, right? But let's get into it. The way I like to set goals is I like to break it up into four, quarter, four categories, health, wealth, relationships, as well as personal. The reason why I have those four categories is because I truly believe that those are the four main pillars to having a happy, peaceful, and enjoyable life, right? You can make as much money as you want, but if you feel like shit and you literally have physical pain, how are you supposed to enjoy life? And the vice versa, right? You can have the best health, but if you're not able to pay your bills, if you're struggling financially, how are you supposed to enjoy life? Let's say you have the money, let's say you have the body, but you don't have the relationships or you don't have a sense of your own personal self, how are you supposed to genuinely feel happy? So health, wealth, relationships, and personal. When it comes to health, this upcoming year, I don't necessarily have like a, a goal of competing in like bodybuilding or anything. This year, that was the main goal. But going into 2024, I want to start experimenting. I've been working out for fucking 13 years. Um, and I feel like sometimes it gets a little bit repetitive, right? same thing over and over and over again and it's not that i don't love the process it's just i want to make things fun again i want to make things interesting again i want to make things feel like I, it did when i first started it's like when you first get started right? you're literally itching to get in there every single day and you're willing to learn as much as you possibly can not saying that i don't anymore but a lot of that has been kind of chipping away slowly but surely so when it comes to my health um, something that I really want to do is number one, try new training styles, not just bodybuilding or powerlifting, but I've talked to my coach, um, where we're thinking of touching into some athletic stuff, some jumping stuff, some endurance stuff, some strength stuff, just overall having me more well-rounded. Another thing that I want to be able to do in terms, in terms of my health is practicing and implementing intuitive eating. I've been tracking my calories, my macros for years, and I, I truly believe that it's a, a really, really great tool to help you go ahead and achieve certain looks when it comes to your aesthetics. But now that I'm at a point where I have a good understanding of my body, I have a better understanding of like my calories, my macros and everything, and since I've been doing it for so long, I wanna be able to start doing things a little bit more intuitively. But with that being said, um, with the intuitive eating, I wanna be able to maintain my abs. I busted my ass for this entire year, right? To get shredded and everything. And I don't wanna get back to 200 plus pounds and just look like a, I don't wanna look like a meatloaf. <laughs> I wanna look big, I wanna look strong, I wanna be strong, I wanna feel good, right? But I want to have some sort of app definition especially with me being a fitness coach and overall i just feel a lot better not being um, super overweight in terms of wealth obviously i've run a business called transcendent phenoms where i help people 
feel comfortable in their own skin, help them lose body fat, put on muscle, help them feel their very best, and take charge of their life. Obviously, I'd be lying if I said that my goal wasn't to scale that. Um, but over the course of the last three years, like this year was one of the years where things started to really pick up and I'm finally starting to see the fruits of my labor. By no means am I where I want to be yet, but going into 2024, my main goal is to start delegating some of my tasks. Obviously as a business owner, being a solo, dolo, like entrepreneur, like it's a lot of hats that you gotta, you gotta wear. And especially if I wanna scale, especially if I wanna be able to create the life that I want to, it wouldn't make sense to literally do every single task with my business for the rest of then the life the lifetime of my business. So going into 2024, my main goal in terms of my business is to start delegating some of my tasks. Start hiring team members, start having people help me do some stuff on the back end. This way I'm able to actually spend the time that I have on things that I actually enjoy, like creating content, like delivering a better service to my clients, right? Like helping more people help them reach their goals. Also, another goal that I have in terms of wealth is paying off my student loans. This October, uh, they started uh, the student loans over again. And before I set any crazy goals of like my future plans in terms of my finances, I definitely want to pay off my debt first. Um, this way, I'm able to start really dabbling my my toes into into other things in terms of my finances next we got relationships now this is a touchy topic for me simply because i've put up a wall in front of a lot of people in terms of friends family loved ones and i don't really let too many people too close to me not that i don't enjoy being around others but in the past, I took things pretty personal, um, especially with things that don't necessarily go the way that I want and don't really meet the outcomes that I want or the expectations that I want. But going into 2024, my main goal in terms of relationships is actually being open to receiving love. I'm someone who dodges compliments. I'm someone who usually tries to change the topic, especially when someone talks about my achievements when someone talks about how good I am at something which is something I'm, I'm, I've been working on I know that I don't give myself the credit that I deserve but going into 2024 I want to start opening up and actually being able to to receive love because I know there are people of good intent I know that the people around me love me I know that the people around me want to help me but I ain't willing to receive that help which is only holding me back and limiting myself from the relationships that I know I can have in my life. And lastly, personal. Going into 2024, this is a new realization I just had. I think we talked about this um, a video or two ago, but I want to start documenting my life. So my goal in terms of my personal life or my personal goals is to make one YouTube video every single week. This can be a day in a life. This can be me being creative this can be me going on a trip this can be me making a video on something i've always had a passion for content creation and technically i already do it for majority of my job but in terms of these videos my, my main goal isn't to be like the next influencer or be the the next like biggest youtuber or anything but the point of me documenting all of this is to help me in my creativity right give me a uh, a way to really get a little bit creative sometimes um and i know that there's a lot of people out there who could see and benefit from from these videos i've always watched a ton of youtubers and if i'm able to provide that for someone else someone that may be the same age as me maybe someone that's younger or even maybe someone that's older like i truly believe that everyone everyone's story is special in its own way and we're able to impact others, whether we think it or not. And I'm gonna have this be a way to, to hold me accountable to these goals. Again, I'm terrified of shit sharing these goals and I'm fucking nervous right now just, just sharing this because it's like, yo, what if I don't reach these goals, right? What if I see all these things but I don't actually go ahead and back it up? But yo, this is why I'm doing this to hold myself accountable and it's only going to better me. But 
2024. I know it's it's gonna. I say this every single year, but it's 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 gonna be a big fucking year, and I can't fucking wait for what's to come. 2023 was an amazing year, but let's make 2024 even better.